All right, it's the rundown. Today is brought to you by SeatGeek. You know the deal with SeatGeek. We got a lot of baseball games to go to. Perhaps if you are a uh, Bruins playoffs. Oh, Bruins playoffs. If you're a Red Sox fan, things are good. If you're a Mets fan, things are good. I don't even know if the Yankee fans are going to go see any more games. I don't know. I don't After know. David Price throws a no-no tonight, I don't know if they should just leave. Is the product on the field even worth going to see? I don't know. But if you if you're a masochist and you just like watching bad baseball, it actually is interesting because like like train wrecks are fun to see. That's true. So and when you maybe, see like Giancarlo maybe Stanton miss a ball premium. by a mile, yeah, I'm more like, inclined hey, to go, go see him now. I want to go see right, him. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Check that stinks. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, he's gonna let you watch Giancarlo stri- <laughs> Stanton strike out ten times. He right. missed he missed that ball last night. It was more impressive inches. than anyone any home run he's ever hit. That it was, was like oh my god. You gotta think that's gotta be rock bottom though. Maybe he'll get better. I don't know. I mean, at this point, he just seems to find new rock bottom. I didn't think it gets worse than striking out. That five wasn't times even in game. close. He, it looked like he was. It was a blind person. It looked like he was a blind person, and someone just said, "Swing!" <laughs> just swung. Maybe he was. That's like in Tin Cup when the guys like just try everything different and swing. Maybe, Maybe like, just close doing. your eyes. Maybe he was just switching it all up. Yeah. So if you want to buy these tickets, uh, go to SeatGeek, download the app, use the promo code uh, Rundown. You get ten dollars off your first purchase. It's good for any live event: baseball, sports, uh, concerts, comedy, whatever. We start with uh, Zuckerberg, who put on the performance of a lifetime. Somehow, Zuckerberg found the only people in the world like less human and charismatic than him, and it was everyone in Congress. It was perfect. He though. looked like like a rock star compared to these fucking old assholes. When they started talking about cookies, and I think that every congressman thought he was talking about like fucking cookies. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Missouri Congressman. I think Long, Congressman Long, who asked him like. What is face mash and is it still up? And he was like, that literally was 2001 <laughs> for like a month in my doorway. <laughs> was face mash and is it still up and running? No, Congressman. Face mash was a, a prank website that I launched in college. Dude, I thought he had him too. He's yeah. like, what is this? <laughs> it was so Tell us what this is. It was so perfectly Facebook because it was just. It was grandparents yep. asking you questions and not understanding what they're doing. Yep. It's like, oh, look at Nana up here again, ranting about, like... That Zuck's whole brand. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's like, it was so perfect. Everything about it was so perfect. Like, the fact that he had a uh, booster seat to make himself appeal, appear, like, bigger. Yep. That's that what people small? do on Facebook. You try I didn't know he was that five, small. Five, seven. Um, oh, shit, he's really that small. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, yeah, this is like your fake online persona. Right. Here's this a booster like, seat. I'm so much cooler online. Brad Paisley, baby. How about when he drank that water? He's not a human. He I want to like, say, I think... He's like, uh, let me hydrate with this H2O He now. wasn't even that's close. humans do. I think that Facebook sent their clone Zuckerberg. Because mm, if Zuckerberg you look, like yeah. in case he got arrested or something, they just sent the clone guy. Because if you look, <laughs> the water thing, not even fucking close. No. He's a huge privacy guy, right? Like, there was that picture that went viral a couple years ago where he puts tape over, like, yep. his yep. computer fucking... Uh, the webcam? Everything. The yep. webcam, the sound, all that. Yep. Then he gets up to go to the bathroom and just leaves his fucking notebook open that's like that? That's a great point. Come on. That's a great <laughs> point. That, at the very least, no that's chance. fake Facebook information. Like, here, whoops, I left this open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congress, this is what we're doing. It's not, one of those not this two. over Correct. here. Exactly. It's like, it, no, no, yeah, we don't want you to see this at all. That's a great point. Zuckerberg's way too savvy. After everything he's been through with no the wrinkle chance. bosses and shit, to just be like, whoops. But no, I think... I think it lends an uh, idea to the fact that just he's not a human because he's yeah. more robot because like he understands how to protect against technology, not but he doesn't understand like how human, human eyes work. Right. Where he's like, oh yeah, human eyes can see That's that. A great point. It's not just data and like compiling likes and putting together like, like a personality yeah. test or whatever. Did you see, did, did you see he, his video about the, 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 what are they called? Filters? Great work team. I mean, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that wasn't human either. This is our new filters. This is my favorite one. Great yeah. work team. <laughs> what? New face filters on Instagram today. This is my favorite one so far. Nice job, team. What are you? Human. What are you? You yeah. fucking freak. He yeah. is not a human. I don't he know. had, dude. He had that other line of Congress where they asked him about like racial, racial stuff and whatnot. Yeah. He said AI is five to ten years away from being able to tell if something is hate speech. It's like, dude, we talked about a movie. And then it, that movie was an advertisement on my yeah, Instagram they're, feed. They're, they're, like I didn't even Google it. We just talked about it verbally, and it was yeah. like, oh, let's advertise this movie to him. They're How can you not tell like when someone's saying the N word? Yeah, that that just, doesn't seem like five or ten years at all. It you mean like we've right been doing now. this for five yeah. or ten years? It's like <laughs> yes. we know what you're saying. Yeah. No. I, either way, like stock went up, and everyone seems to think that he like kind of killed it. So. Oh really? Yeah. That's like oh, the vibe. That's news to yeah, me. Yeah, their stock yeah. was going up. Yeah. But again, that's because he was literally talking to... Like the oldest people in the world. Who? Right. Like Thought senile grandparents. About I, I think the vibe is kind of like the, the first thing off the bat was more like, you know, Zuckerberg like talk circles around the old men. 
Yeah. I guess that's true, because again, they don't know what to talk about. But again, they're like, asking I mean, about face masks. Yeah. And, that's and, what they and, came and with. It's not that Zuckerberg did a good job, it's that Congress was It's just so dumb. Idiots. They were, they asked, someone else asked them, they said, uh, you know, it's, your product is free, I don't understand how you make money. Right. He's like, we sell ads, of course. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you not Google this before you met I, I couldn't keep my cool if I was there for like hours on end. Uh, I was asking questions like that. Yeah. Like, so you blog, what is that? How, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, <laughs> Ed Cruz? <laughs> Uh, all right, Tristan Thompson's in the news. He cheated on Chloe. Uh, the big question surrounding this, though, is this: the video. So, so his his side piece uploaded videos of them smashing to her Instagram story. Um, but the video that came out with TMZ was him in the club with her, like making out with her. The thing is that TMZ acquired that video in October. Now it Why'd happens. Why did they sit on it? Because uh, the Kardashians are, is premiering like next week. Uh, so a lot of people are thinking Kris Jenner is up to her own tricks. Now, I don't, I, I'm not going to go as far as to say, like, Kris Jenner is, like, although maybe she is, like, going behind her, like, family's back and doing this. I think they just make the best of a bad situation. So, like, I think Tristan Thompson was probably doing that. And then I think Kris Jenner's like, well, we might as well go make a billion dollars off of it, Chloe. I think it's one of those, yeah, where TMZ reached out, and they're like, we have, they reached out in October, we have this video, and they and always, what are we gonna TMZ do wants to stay in the Kardashians' good graces. Absolutely. So they're like, when do you want us to put right. it out? Right. Let me and say this. Chris is like, well, it's just going to come out. It's going to suck. Let's do it a week before season 10. I'm pretty famously like illiterate with celebrity stuff, but there's a couple There's a couple couples that like I get into. Okay. Bieber, <laughs> this Selena one stuff, okay. I'm into. And the Kardashians, I love the Kardashians. <laughs> Crazy. And I love this it. This morning I came in, and you know I get in. like When I come in, those people are all doing the radio. So usually I'm alone for like 20 or 30 minutes. And I'm like, I'm going to dig into this Kardashian, the latest fucking yeah, gossip stuff. Care. And like two clicks later, I'm watching just porn on yeah. my computer. You saw alone it? I was trying to office. find it. I couldn't she, find it. Um, but I was thinking like if Erica comes out of her office or something and mm -hmm. she has a beer and I'm just watching porn at like 8 a.m. in the office by myself. I was, and I watched it. You know, you watch Listen, it like. No Nardini should be like. What, what are you I was going to say, I think <laughs> we, like, oh, I saw it. we've gone cool. into like a good work relationship where it's like porn in the office isn't even totally weird anymore. Fair. I watch it like 20 or 30 times. You're trying to figure out, is that him? Do I hear anything? Yep. And it yep. just over and over and over. And it was yep. like. You, and I think we have an update from the chicks in the office um, here. There's no air date for the next season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Oh. So, false. I, I, I thought I was under the good, impression good it's, it's coming yeah. out. Yeah, very tidbit. important. They're, they are not promoting a new <laughs> yeah, season. That yet. just ruined oh, our that, whole that, that changes everything. Yeah. I, I yeah. thought everybody was saying so that So what Chris, I was watching Chris, was real. <laughs> yeah. Trying to figure out if that was really... Was that him banging that chick or not is what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to say yes. I, I, think, I, mean, I was into it. I was like, this is great. <laughs> You ha you have Celebrity to porn know. is like it's very easy to get into. Yeah. Like, there's just a whole new idea of it where you're like, oh, like I don't even know Tristan Thompson from Adam, but if I know I'm watching Tristan Thompson, fuck, I'm into I'm it. And like the <laughs> chick, I was watching on like some like burner Twitter account she had apparently made. Miss Stephanie, in, which Ms. now is like totally gone. In her bio, for the record, it said like sorry Tristan with like this emoji, and mm -hmm. I was like, I dig this. And did she have like Yo, I, Kim Kardashian's oldest was also? Yep, in the bio. yep. Oh yeah. yeah. Was like, <laughs> it was a glass of wine. Yep. Out of exactly. everyone in this office, Riggs is maybe the last person I would imagine yeah. being on the Kardashians. I love I'm him. I love yeah. him. I don't know why. Very versatile just, guy. Very, like I said, very usually hard. I'm like, I couldn't possibly care less about these people. I just, I dig the Kardashians. Good for great. you, pal. The, yeah. the weirdest thing about it to me is uh, that they met in a, in a hookah bar. Yeah. Like when, like when you're 17 years old. Yeah. Like that's, can't, that's you can't what, drink like, yet. Are you go to, you go, you, like, a, like a kid like vacationing in New York. It's like, yeah, let's go to a hookah bar tonight. Yeah, you yeah. think it's so cool. Like you go to high school, you go on a little, little flavor, trip to dude. New York. Like, yeah, let's hit a hookah. Like one of those where you're like so up there that then like the other, other side is you come back to like when you're like those fucking famous oh, wow. celebrity types. Riggs is so woke on the celebrities like, right now. <laughs> he, know, he knows the whole scene. I'm telling you, I've been thinking about this shit. This is, I dig this. Uh, I, I can't remember what Twitter account this was, but some... Uh, I don't know, some like hardcore, seemingly feminist type chick is knocking the four million dollars that have been raised for the uh, the Humboldt Broncos, saying that four million dollars, four million is the biggest. Uh, That's a big yeah. number. We, we had over hundred thousand. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, our shirts are on sale. Hundred percent of the proceeds goes to, goes to the families. Four million bucks for like the GoFundMe for like all of Canada. It's the biggest thing Canada's ever raised. Most money they've ever raised. Um, she said, y y "I hate to be cynical, but you can't help but think." You know, all the money is because they're young white males, which is like the definition of cynical, and you're shitting all over like a fucking awesome humanity coming together for a good, like, noble cause. Uh, the internet absolutely smoked her as she deserves, but like, I don't think, 
I don't think you can shit on her enough for this take. I, I don't think, I mean, yes, it's a terrible take. I think Brace plays a factor in absolutely everything. So, yeah. like, Brace, but, like, but, I'm but, like, sure that at, so, to, at some level the here, point, it does. You know? But, like, it, I think the bigger issue, or the bigger reasoning for it is hockey is such a tight knit yeah. community. Yeah, and it's Canada. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's Canada. Like, they, they basically are saying how it's all of Canada mm. that raised this money. So right. that doesn't surprise me. Which Canada fucking loves hockey. hockey. Look at what they do for the World Juniors. How right. into that they are. Right. And they it's not, like, take that more seriously than we take the Super Bowl. I so know. naturally when they lose like this many people and it's related to all of that, like hockey, Canada, everybody in Canada played hockey. Yeah. So they all relate to it. They all get it. Like right. that's that's what's behind it. And it's, it's not even, I think just the hockey community in general outside of Canada as well. Like you played Big high time. school hockey, maybe you played college hockey. Like the bus was like a religious experience. Like it was like, and like to see something like that get, it wasn't attacked, but to see it broken is like a really sad That's thing for everyone is. who's like, been like involved in and like it's that gonna, the sport. And it's yeah. gonna, it's gonna motivate you more to like get involved. Right. Like how can I help out? How can I chip in? Right. And so yeah, all right, young white guys play hockey, but like if that's the, what if I think the, it is more. But yeah. if the sport dynamic was like young black guys and and the a country came together behind that sport, it would be the same amount of money. It's and it's just like it's just right. a hypothetical. It doesn't need to be discussed. Right. And like yeah, right. why it happened? Mm. Who fucking knows? It could be hockey. It could be race. Could be that just the mo the political climate. Whatever. It happened, and it's a good thing. And it's like, positive. And don't fucking right. shit on it. Like, does, if this happens to a an AAU basketball team from Washington D.C., does it make this much money? I have no fucking idea. Right. And like, but I'm not going to say it definitely out. wouldn't. I'm not going to say it definitely would. I right. have no idea. And if it so, did, like, to bring it up is just stupid. I don't think I would sit there and break it down. I think yeah. I would just be like, good. Right. Split that money up, and mm -hmm. let's help these people heal. Uh, second half of the rundown is brought to you by State and Liberty. You know their name because they created the jacket. The jacket. Dave wore it, and then Brett stole it from him. It is uh, the most famous jacket it's in great jacket. history. It's a, it's a fantastic nice jacket. jacket. It's actually perfect for like right now, as we seemingly are like never going to get warm, but it's like a little bit warmer. It's like a good in-between jacket. They've got uh, all sorts of clothes that go with it. Uh, Dave Ward and his pizza review, that's when it first took over, and now all the guys here love it. Uh, right now, you can get 10% off all purchases when you go to stateandliberty.com. at state, A-N-D, liberty.com. 10% off everything this week. Uh, Bryce Harper. I feel like this video is a little bit... You know, I don't want to call it fake, a little stage. A little stage. But, little stage. but, I agree with that. But he does this. Oh, yeah. So, like, they Because his it. hair looks exactly how it looks. It, it, he, like, yeah, he you, blows it yeah. together like that. It's like, so, like the reverse Moses. It's like, yes. bring it all in. Yes. He, uh, he, I don't know who filmed it for reverse him. Reverse Moses. <laughs> but he, he, he just unpart this, yeah, unpart yeah, this yeah. Yeah. smash it together. The least parted, like, <laughs> yeah. hair ever. He, you know, he, and at the end, he's like, bro, come on. You can tell it's fake. But it, that was definitely because it was like, yo, let's make a funny video about how you use two blow dryers, dude. <laughs> Dude. Uh, but the thing is, if you're gonna look like Bryce Harper, you get to use two blow dryers. It's, yeah, it's like no, it obviously look, he, he goes above and beyond. His hair looks fucking awesome. As a guy who doesn't have great hair, that I watch this and I was like, two blow dryers, like fuck you, dude. <laughs> like that, just drowning in like, embarrassment of right. riches. <laughs> just like I'd do anything to be able to need like a blow dryer. Be great. <laughs> He's just like, hair <laughs> <laughs> like flowing. I was like, all right. That's so tough. even yeah, fake or not, I was like, too shit. Yeah, like, no, he, yeah. he. I mean that dude. Uh, would you rather have his baseball skills or his hair? I feel like either way you're making hundreds of millions of <laughs> <Yeah>. dollars from it. <laughs> the, the the blow dryer is, is something that hits quite close to home for me because I'm a big blow dryer guy. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Love have blow you ever doubled up? Never doubled up, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to buy one. Do you want to? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was like, we were talking about it on the, yeah, the arms spins get over tired, bro. Like, Jesus Christ. But it's like, like the fucking, like the, like, like two guns. Like, I, I could be yeah. like Denzel. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, yeah. and he I'll had, the, you he you, had the you, concentrators you blow dry, too. You better come in, like, you better be awesome. Yeah, well, yeah, no, and if it doesn't work, I just don't go, go I, don't, I don't go to work that day. I'm excited <laughs> to see you come tomorrow with just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, it'll be like, you gotta have, like, a football mohawk. Yeah, you should, that'd be nice. Well, so we're gonna check it out, we're definitely gonna try it, and, like, and also I, I wanted to shout him out for the concentrators, because you gotta have a concentrator on the blow dryer, because that's something you must have. A concentrator? Yeah, like, oh, like the thing that, like, basically, like, think of a sniper and, like, uh, a silencer. And it just, really? it directs the air. Yeah, real, real, real accurate. You don't want that, like, shotgun spread. No, you need, yes. like, uh, and no, that's it's, like, what, it's like a vacuum uh, thing, and you put on the end when right. you need to, like, get yeah. the, in the cracks. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. And that's what ladies, ladies don't use the concentrator, it seems. At least not the ones I've spent time with. Time with. <laughs> I like how you were like, how can I say this? <laughs> like, I, I, I go into the... The I, women I have been around <laughs> in the time of day where they might have I, and dryers I'm like, on their hair. I'm like, I go in, I'm like, wait, where the fuck is the concentrator on this thing? 
Like, what are you talking about? Like, I, I need my hair to be very specific. You are <laughs> so gay. Interesting. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> Everyone's revealing a lot of things. A lot yeah. of things on the right down here. Uh, we got this Wheel of Fortune fail. Our guy Nate has been all over the wheel. Uh, it's one of the more gut-wrenching fails you'll ever see. So this dude is doing, like, the express thing, where that means you just get to keep naming letters until you've solved the whole puzzle. And then you solve it, and you're good to go. You don't yeah, know about this. There has to be another rule than that. What do you mean? You just get to keep naming yeah, letters. Yeah, like, like if you if you land on this spot, it's like go, and you just say letters, and as long as every time there is a letter, you get to keep going, and then you get to solve the puzzle. Okay. So he knew the he knew the puzzle. He said every single letter, filled it in, got all the money he possibly could, and it's flamenco, something dancers, flamenco dancers, and he said flamingo, and didn't get it. What's up there? Flamingo dance lessons. Sorry. And the next girl was just like flamenco dancers. And his face was pure agony, pure confusion. I thought he was going to like start swinging at Sajak. Like he, he was like, he, he read the word. He knows it's M-E-N-C-O, but he just thought you said it like flamingo and was like, I thought he was going to murder somebody. And I almost wouldn't really fault him. Like flamingo dancers. Flamen it was tough. Flamenco I will dancer. Say, I don't know. That's, that's a... That's a tough one. The most absurd part is now when he's on like uh, Good Morning America and everything, and they're like breaking down the whole play. Yeah. Like it's fucking like he's like Phil Mickelson collapsing at the U.S. Open or <laughs> right, something, and like breaking wrong. down every shot. It's like he just said the wrong fucking word. Yep. Like that's literally it was a half a second thing, and now he's fucked forever. His face, he he was he's, like he's trying to do this like I wasn't upset, I was just confused. It's like he looked like he was gonna eat the woman next. <laughs> yeah. To him. Yeah. Like he if he had a, if he had a gun, I think he would have killed somebody. <laughs> totally. He, he would have murdered somebody. He yeah. was that mad. I it, think he deserved it. I, I you guys both seem to feel for him. Flamenco dancers. If you think it's a flamingo dancer, you still have to be in third grade. It's a flamenco dancer. Everyone knows it's a flamenco. Dancer. I mean, yeah. no, it is. But he said flamingo. I, yeah, I know, and that's what I mean. Like, that means you deserve the money. Des he deserves the hate. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, just, you don't get the money. You're, you're yeah. a dumb person. No money for you. Flamingo, flamenco. Don. I mean, just the word. I it's like the no. word was right there. It wasn't like he was guessing from memory. It was spelled out for him. Yo, yeah, he's definitely an idiot, but it's. So I don't, I don't pity idiots. That's a, that's a pity policy it. of mine. Pity it. Uh, yeah, he could have made a better face after. He could have, like, he just... <laughs> he, also, he also had dog and pony show. The G in dog and the S, or the P in pony, were the only things left, and he said C. So no, there's no, oh, word, there's no guy, such word as doc or it. pony. So, like, dumb, pony. So, yeah, he's just yeah. an idiot. Big thing. Wheel of Fortune has a lot of dummies. Johnny, what are you doing? Oh, good, okay, 700. Oh, okay, so he knows it's show. It's not shop, thank God. He knows it's... He knows, what are you doing? Johnny, what are you spinning for? What are you doing? Holy shit, you're a genius, Johnny. C. A C! No! A C, Johnny, Doc, and what were you even going, Coney Show? You never heard Dog and Pony Show, Johnny. Oh, Johnny, what are you doing, my friend? How do you get on this show? Oh. Johnny, what are you doing? Johnny, a C. Yeah, not even exactly like I said, in his, in his interviews when he was trying to break it down, I was like, they need to shorten this. Like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Get him off your program. So, yeah, no, Flamingo. Uh, we'll wrap up here with a little baseball talk. We started talking about it earlier. Uh, the Yankees are dead. They're done. Their season is over. The Red Sox have embarrassed and emasculated them. Mm -hmm. They've uh, like ripped their, their intestines out and dragged them all over the floor. 14-1 was the final last 14 night. 14-1. Uh, I thought, I thought, I was watching the Mets. I was checking the score. I thought, like, my phone was broken. I thought something was wrong. I thought it could not possibly be that the Red Sox would beat them 14-1. I got to come clean. I didn't watch the game. Uh, I was on a plane. I didn't have Wi-Fi or it or TV. What'd you okay. do? And, like, and, and because, like, I was it, not even, like, in the old days, when you can at least like listen to your iTunes, like I don't have music, I, right, I stream music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't even get on the Wi-Fi. Do that? But you just stare I, at the fucking I don't, seat. I read a whole book. Um, yeah, I, I just sat there for six a hours. Whole reading. one. What book? Uh, David Sedaris, Naked. How was it? It's good. I'm a, I'm a big Sedaris guy. Okay. Um, but the uh, a book. But the I don't understand how this is like a little different from the, the original sports angle you had here. But I don't understand how people did this back in the day, where it's just like you just well, you just went all night not knowing how the game went. Oh that. Yeah. Like yeah. I like I like like you had to wait till the morning papers. Like I was on the plane just stressing about Liverpool 
and the Red Sox, mm. wondering how the fuck those games were going. Well, it's crazy because you didn't even have to go back point. that far. Like any episode of Seinfeld where he would always record the Mets games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can like, watch yeah, it. Yeah, right, which is such a wild... Like, but people could do that. People would get away with it. I don't think I've ever thought out. about it's, the fact that you had to wait till the next day. To figure out how, like... Or, like, I mean, you hope for word of mouth, but, like, if not... Yeah, you had to wait till you pick up the paper or something. That's no, you crazy. Could, how do you sleep at night? You could watch, like, the news. Yeah, but if like you have to, like, news. But in theory, if you miss the whole game, like, then you're, you're probably, there's a good chance you might miss the news. Right. Yeah, you might just go to bed or whatever. When you pop up in the morning, you either check the TV and hope that they do the sports, or... Yeah, you have to have that. It's like, Boy. Nesson used to do, like, a 20-minute show, and, like, they'd start it by just reading right. all the, like, scores off. Yeah. And then they do, like, booger? quick highlights. Oh. Are you guys going to mention how the whole office is, like, hot boxed right now? You smell that? Yeah, I know. I, I don't smell Something's that. going on. Something's kind of foot. I was it's, just those, so uh, focused. it's those focused. <laughs> maybe a Kush really fire. Really on okay. takes. But uh, yeah, to go back to the Red Sox, I mean, like, David Price is going to throw a no no tonight, and then the Yankees are going to pack up and go. Do you think that they'll just trade Stanton? I think I think, I think I think you got to just cut him. I don't know if anyone wants him. I mean, him. obviously, obviously, Jer- Jerry Peter was right. He knew he knew what he was, he was doing. He knew what was going. I mean, on, he yeah. was like, "Give me two hundred fucking fifty million dollars for this guy. What a steal!" He looks like Sticks. a genius. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is it's, uh, that might be the greatest trade of all time for the Marlins. Uh, this team stinks. Mets are the best team in baseball. I've never so. seen second best. Well, you know, we're splitting hairs here. And th- that's the worst part of this Yankee series is that like all the Yankee fans have been like, we guys haven't even played anyone good yet, and like, and they're right. We haven't. We still haven't. I don't. You're know still when. playing. You're, the Red Sox are still playing cupcake teams. I think. I think we checked. I think May 31st we play the Astros. So like un- until until then, yeah, you can you can hold that argument over our heads. We haven't played a good team yet. Carabas is great right now. He's oh, just, man. he's. Uh, I had more fun on Twitter last night than yeah. I have in a long time. Hate to see it is he's yeah. so just much fun. Because, I mean, yeah, Frankie was like, stop, stop saying that. <laughs> stop saying, stop saying, hey, just stop saying that. And, and I mean, once you know that, that's the Frankie's that's going as far as to be like, I know that you don't hate that. Like, yeah, <laughs> we know. Like, <laughs> you actually like it, guys. He's getting so upset you, you by like it that he thinks he's strikeouts. actually serious. He's a fucking idiot. I know you're just like, <laughs> they tried to like, I know that you don't hate that. <laughs> like, it's so obvious that you don't hate that. We're what only, is like, wrong we're only one week into the season, and it's already. Right. Yeah, yeah. You hate to see it. I need to you hear hate him to see say Frankie grabbing a mic it. trying oh, to defend himself yeah. right here. You hate yeah. to see this. Stop. I do hate to see this. <laughs> he, Jared's winning the battle right now. Uh, yeah, you think? He's, he's had a couple of good days. Like his 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 demeanor has changed. Now all of a sudden he's not cocky, Jared. Like today we did a pizza review with uh, Kevin Millar, and mm-hmm. I was saying, oh, Jared, like, do you think Kevin Millar knew who you are, even though I knew he didn't? These two idiots had the biggest plot to try to sabotage Jared, to be like, they were so stunned that Kevin Millar didn't know Carabas because Carabas paints himself as, like, this Boston, like, yeah, hero. Yeah, yeah. And Carabas was like, no, Kevin Millar doesn't know who I am. But and they a were week like, ago, Jared would be like, of course, I'm going to be buried underneath the pitcher's mound at fucking Fenway. <laughs> Yeah, this close. Yeah. Jared's winning the you battle. Were, you were, you were like this close, here. like the amount that Mike Stan, sick. the amount that Mike Stan is missing pitches. That's how close. We're winning tonight, I guarantee it. Oh, oh okay. We got a hug guarantee. David Price is already no hitter. No hitter. In a tailspin. That actually is probably. Gary Sanchez. Do we go over his numbers? Gary Sanchez batting 057. Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. 600 batting average. Batting 057 right now. Two for 56 on the ball. Ball's going the highway. Ball's going the highway. I couldn't believe you threw that That's in That's who the Yankees are got. The hero's coming. It's Gary Sanchez. Literally, they're spiraling towards Earth they're so, so fast right now. They're so out of it. Oh, oh my God. God. I love it. <laughs> Jared I also, love it. Jared had the greatest. Yesterday, he said Frankie's arms were like so scrawny. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You could push a Livestrong bracelet all the way up to his shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And, and he delivered it so well. It was amazing. We all, I Googled it. We all were like, who'd you steal that from, Jared? Right. Like, so that has to be an idiot. Nope. Jared no, Original. Yeah. Yeah. You put a Livestrong bracelet on and roll it up to your wrong face. It was amazing. It was amazing. Hubs, Hubs, you realize that yesterday Mookie Betts had a better night than Gary Sanchez has had season, right? Great, it's April 11th. Who gives a fuck? A better 27 evening. rings, 27 From rings, bro. From 7 to 11 it's p.m. He, go for he Gary. put more stats on the board than El Gary, the dog shittiest nickname in the world, yeah, the worst. has put up all season. <laughs> Gary Sanchez will torment David Price today. Okay, good. Probably no not. Hitter. Probably not. Uh, all right, we're wrapping up here. A couple quick announcements. Oh. Biz Nasty officially joins. What a get. What a star. He's a yeah. star. I love that it was like, all right, you're done with this whole idea that you're ever, like, going to, you know, you're, Come be funny on the internet, Biz. Right. Like, that's, that's what he that's, was doing. Come he home. was doing that with the, yeah. with the like, coyotes. Like, come home. Yeah. You know where you belong. 
He's gonna call me. Just trust me, Annie. Is I, your ringer on? It's it, it is. Yes. I've been kind of scouting this guy a little right here. I don't know if you if you're any interest. I mean, no, I, dude. No, no. Well, I mean, dude. Is it his coursey? Dude, have you seen his hands? Yeah, but dude, yeah, have but, you seen his stride? Have yeah. you seen his nose? Fans love fighting. I mean, he's gonna bring he's gonna bring tickets. They're gonna come to box. He's a office. funny bastard. He's a funny guy. I I, I, I think we should make the move. I mean, get the used puck bag. Tell call should his call GM him? and tell him that's what we got for him. Yeah, call him. What's up, Wit? What up, Biz? You ready to join Spit and Chicklets full time, you muppet? No, you're joking, right? But by this, this is probably the the best news I've ever heard since signing a two year one way NHL contract, and then the other time I I signed a two year NHL one way contract. <sighs> I I have so many emotions running through my body right now. I. Uh, I, I can't wait to tell my folks. The, I, I, thank you for the opportunity. I, I, I won't mess it up. <sighs> Thanks, pal. <sighs> mm, yes! Woo! Yeah, he was, he's probably one of the more obvious, like, that dude's gonna be a Barstool guy. Dude, I was in Berset. I've been following him since, I feel like, what, where was he? Biz, 2012? Biz Nasty like might that. have been my first follow ever on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> and that was even when he was still playing and fighting yeah. and like, he was just awesome. And now I, I wonder what the negotiation us. was like, where it was like, well, we know you need us and we know we need you, so right. let's just fucking Let's all, let's just this. make a deal. Yeah, right. the, the Brewski Patriots negotiation. Yeah, like, like, I'm firing my agent. I'm not going anywhere. You're not letting me go anywhere. Yep. Let's just do this. <laughs> let's do this. The and first got, agreement was just that done. Video, let's go. Oh, that absolutely. video they had with the Whitney dunk. was so, oh, yeah. so fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, like, awesome. just getting out of the car with fucking uh, flared bottom jeans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so Whitney. like a bunch of kids are like, ah! <laughs> Whitney's insane. Whitney's the Muppet. Such a Muppet. King Muppet. Uh, and then we got Rough and Rowdy 3, Friday night. Thrill, Thrill Ride is fighting the Bavarian Hungarian. We got Bill Burr on the call. Dave and Big Cat will be there as well. Jess, welcome to the jungle. Jessina is a beast of all beasts. Beast. Uh, so we got a big time, big time event. So uh, roughandrowdybrawl.com. You can uh, buy the pay-per-view now for 15 bucks. It goes up to 21. Those the are There's a buzz More in flowers for fights. More flowers for fights. Heidelberg. This is wow. fights, his new thing. Goes to Columbia once. Thank you. The, the beta boy oh, over here is, yeah. has proclaimed himself a, a sunflower. Sunflowers still, they're gorgeous. For the they're just... is that money in there? <laughs> You're having a wild run right now, John Heidelberg. <laughs> Who's it from? No, no. Oh, wow. I thought See, that was going to be maybe a new Just anonymous, nice. like, See, love. Yeah. Good for you, Fife. Oh, these are beautiful. Thank you. You big great. gay boy. <laughs> Congrats, John. Dude, if I just start getting flowers all the time, this is one hell of a racket. I love flowers, man. <laughs> it, it's now, we probably going about to be. KFC Radio, and like, they're like, oh, can like, guys get flowers? I was like, fuck yeah, I love flowers. <laughs>